Welcome to the Tokyo Banner 23 Sneaker Channel and welcome to Japan. I bring you daily content reviewing sneakers and today I'm reviewing one of the sneakers that people sit on the fence about. Half the people love it, half the people hate it. Which side of the fence are you going to be on? The Jordan brand is popping right now. They're retro in a bunch of sneakers and today I'm bringing you a review of the Jordan 6 Flint. As I said in the introduction today, I'm bringing you a review of the Air Jordan 6 Flint. For me, the Air Jordan 6 marks the point at which the Air Jordan brand moved away from bringing out classic silhouettes and kind of moved towards the mainstream a bit, responding to customers' needs and what people want out there rather than thinking about what is the best thing in a sneaker and what is the best basketball sneaker to produce. So for me, the Air Jordan 6 marks a crossroads where the Jordan brand had to make a decision whether to stay with pure basketball sneakers or to go a little commercial, and they went down that commercial line, which means that I'm not that big a fan of this sneaker. But you know who is a big fan of it rich rich is one of the strongest supporters of the channel and i appreciate you rich and he hit me up with a comment when i reviewed the diffused blue air jordan sixes and i said it wasn't really my thing and rich was like what are what you, are talking, you talking, talking about, about butter, butter? Are, are you, you insane? insane maybe i am insane but it's just not my kind of sneaker but it is rich's kind of sneaker and i'm happy to bring this review to you guys out there anyone who likes the air jordan sixes stick around to hear what i have to say about this sneaker those of you who watch my content regularly will know that i ask for one thing on each video and today it's all about the subscribe button if you could hit that subscribe button we are really really close to getting to a hundred subscribers and the hundred subscriber mark for me is a really important number if you out there could hit that subscribe button and push the channel up past a hundred subscribers I'd appreciate it very very much as you might be able to see down here there's a little Japanese icon which says subscribe if you click on that have a little click and you'll see that it suddenly changes into the subscribe button it's a really cool new feature on YouTube the branding it's called and that's the lettering down there for subscribing in Japan now what I'd appreciate is if people can tell me if they can actually see it down there because the problem is it doesn't always show up I know it shows up on iPads I know it shows up on PCs but I'm not sure if it shows up on phones and I'm not sure if it shows up when people are in the app and I'm not sure if it shows up when you're not signed in or when you are signed in so if you could leave a comment down below to tell me if this branding here shows up I'd really really appreciate it. PC Alright, enough of that. Let's get into these sneakers. What Rich loves. He loves his Air Jordan 6s. So Rich, this one's for you, buddy. And let's talk about this upcoming Air Jordan 6 Flint release. I'm not sure where these sneakers are going to drop, to be honest. I know that they are going to drop in America on January the 12th, but I'm not sure about here in Japan. On the Japan version of the sneakers app, they're not listed. Now, I reviewed the diffused blue Jordan 6s back before Christmas, thinking that they would drop before Christmas, but they did not. They dropped later. In fact, they have barely just dropped here in Japan. Now, I'm wondering if sometimes sneakers drop at different times. You get them overseas and then you get them here a bit later, or if everywhere got the diffused blues a bit later because of the trade with the player involved. But anyway, sneakers sometimes come out at different times, and even though these Jordan 6s aren't yet showing up on the sneakers app here in Japan, that doesn't mean to say that they won't release on the same date as they're due to release in America, which is January the 12th. Nihon no Hatsubai wa itsu suru ka douka wakarimasen ga diffused blue to you Air Jordan 6 no Hatsubai wa choto okurete so the Air Jordan 6 Flint is part of a line of Flint sneakers. They started here with the Air Jordan 7s. These are the Flint colorway. And then after the Flint colorway and the 7s, you got the Air Jordan 9s, also in a Flint. And you can see the parallels between the sneakers there. Jumping up to the Air Jordan 13s, a bit of a divergence, taking away a bit more blue in there than the other Flint versions and then recently a couple of weeks ago the Air Jordan 19 Flint and we're back to that sort of white and grey colourway again 
And then finally, now we're onto the Air Jordan 6 Flint, the latest in the Flint line. Looking at the upper, you can see that there are two kinds of materials on there. There's the panels, which are gray and made of suede, and it's a really nice suede, obviously very, very soft. And those panels are kind of bordered by textured leather. Again, another high quality material, which is gonna make the upper on these sneakers really, really nice and a really, really great thing to have in hand. Setting off those gray and white panels in the upper, you've got some black accents throughout the sneaker. Two most notable places where those accents are obvious is in the tongue, which is a very big chunk of black, although it is offset with some other colors, which I'll get to later. And then the second place where there's a lot of accents in black is on that midsole. This is one of my favorite things about the Air Jordan 6 is the way that the midsole sort of gradiates from the outsole through to the upper. And you have those lines in the front forefoot and at the back towards the heel. You've got those black lines, which accent the sneaker really, really nicely. Those and the tongues coming together to make those black accents really work well in this sneaker. And then if you get round to the back and onto the heel, you've got the black heel pull tab with a red line running through the middle of it, which is a really, really cool addition. Underneath that stitched in purple and red, you've got the Jumpman logo and the Nike branding. Coming back to the front of the sneaker, as I said, that black tongue has accents and color on it, most notably in the lace holders you can see here. And those accents and colors are continued in a little new addition on the lateral side of both of these sneakers. There is a bit of a purple tab just hanging out right in the mid foot area, which is a new addition. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you'll know that I'm hyper critical about the balance of colors within a sneaker. The one I keep going back to is that Air Jordan 3 Mocha, which is still sitting on shelves. And I think one of the reasons it still sits on shelves is because there was too much white and not enough Mocha. To me, it's that balance of colors that's really, really important. I said that the recent Ultra Boost 2019 True White Pink was a good looking sneaker because of the balance of colors in it. And it's that balance of colors that I think is very important. In the case of this Air Jordan 6 Flint, I say yes. 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 To me, they've got the balance of colors right. The little accents throughout really set off the main colors, which are white and gray. The black and the purple, a little bit of red in there as well, just brings it up to another level. Without overwhelming the core colorway, without overwhelming the core silhouette, they are accents. That's what they're supposed to be. They're not meant to be main parts of the sneaker. And I think in the case of this sneaker, Nike Air Jordan brand have done a really, really good job of making those accents just the right size to balance the overall aesthetic of of this sneaker and I think it's an absolute banger. Personally, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Air Jordan 6, but as I also said about that Ultra Boost 19 True White Pink, if I was gonna buy any Air Jordan 6, it would be this one because I think they've got the balance of the colors just right. Okay, there we are. That's the end of my review today of the Air Jordan 6 Flint. これで今日のレビューが終わりますので、ぜひ登録をクリックしてお願いします。登録の数は100まで上がるとすごい助かりますので、お願いします。As I said at the top of this video today, it's all about the subscribers. You've got that little branding down here in Japanese that you can click on and bring up the subscriber panel and subscribe to the channel. You've got subscribe down below the video where you can click and subscribe. And then at the very end of the video, on what's called an end card, you can see me pointing at it saying, チャンネル登録ぜひお願いします。Us, and the, you can click there to subscribe to the channel. Three ways to subscribe and help the channel get past 100 subscribers. Thanks for checking in today, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Check in tomorrow. I'm trying to bring you daily content. Check in tomorrow for another sneaker review. This is Tokyo Butter 23 checking off. See you tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Channel Torok Zihi on Agaishimas. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kuchira wa Osusumi des. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kuchira wa channel no profil no video des. Check them out, clicking on them really helps the channel.